Hello everybody, it's Elias with you again. Today we will be looking at Programming Homework 7 for Computer Science 2. We are assigned again with three homework questions, which are the 12.9 lab, the 12.10 lab, and the 28.1 lab. I'll briefly go over them and then I'll show you my code. There is one part that Sorry about that, <laughs> but there's one, the 12.10, I believe that the output isn't shown, but I will show that output on uh, Zybooks. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So I'll read these really quick, just what the gist of them are, and then I'll show you guys the code, and then I'll come back to Zybooks and show you guys 12.10. So the first one, 12.9 lab word frequencies list. We've done a code similar to this, but not with uh, reading and writing files or just reading in this particular question. We will read in a CSV file. So read program that first reads in the name of an input file and then reads the file using the CSV reader method. The file contains a list of words separated by commas. Your program should output the words and their frequencies the number of times each word appears in the file without any duplicates. All right, the first task seems pretty simple. Question number two, 12.10 lamb, excuse me, sorting TV shows. So dictionaries endless. Write a program that first reads in the name of a file and then reads the input file using the file.readlines method. The input file contains an unsorted list of number of seasons followed by the corresponding TV show. Your program should put the content of the file input into a dictionary where the number of seasons are the key and the list of TV shows are the value since multiple shows could have the same number of seasons. Sort the dictionary by key, least to greatest, and output the result to the file named output keys text. Separate multiple TV shows associated with the same key with a semicolon, ordering by appearance in the file or input file. Next, sort the dictionaries by values, alphabetical order, and output the results to file name output underscore titles text. All right, and our third and final question is um, 28.1 lab parsing food data given a text file containing the availability of food items write a program that reads the information from a text file and outputs the available food items the program first reads the name of the text file from the user the program then reads the text file stores the information to four separate lists and outputs the available food items in the following format name dash dash description Assume the text file contains a category, name, description, and availability of at least one food item separated by a tab character. So, it gives us an example down here and gives us the output we should have. So, let's jump right into this. Um, I'll switch over to PyCharm, which is where I do my coding. Right here we have our first one, which is uh, I believe the 12.9 lab work frequencies. I'll go ahead and run this, but before I do any input down here, I'll give a brief explanation of what is up here. So we did a variable, or first we imported CSV so we can use a CSV reader. We did a variable holding what our text file should be, or text file name. We printed just what's gonna happen, it would the output below will be the number of times a word appeared, case sensitive in the CSV file. We created a, right here an array <coughs> with a word list, or actually a dictionary, my bad. A dictionary that will have the key as a name and the value as a number. And we kind of read in the file with <coughs> the CSV file reader. And for each row, we went by and kind of picked the word and saw if the word was there and added it to our dictionary and then added a number or a plus to, to add, keep on adding if the word keeps appearing. So we'll type the file name. The file name that we will use is input one CSV, which is shown right here. Do that. So I'll put input one dot csv and as you can see i'll show you guys the text file or the csv file 
heavy word is separated by just a comma, and we do have the same words, just that one is all lowercase letters, the other one's all, or one uppercase followed by lowercase, so those two different, those words are considered different words just because it is case, case sensitive. So we'll go ahead and run this, and it gave us the output we wanted. So hello appeared one time, cat appeared two times, man two times, hey two times, dog two times, boy two times, hello one time, even though there's a hello up here. It is case sensitive, so we count them as different words. Woman one time and cat one time, even though, like I said, cat appears two times up here. So, so far so good. Everything seems to be working for that first one. Now we'll jump over to 12.10, I believe. Sorting TV shows, dictionaries, and lists. So we are giving this text file file one which is the number of series followed by the title of the tv show and what it wants us to do is create a dictionary holding this or a new text file holding sort of like a dictionary view 20 episodes semicolon colon or yeah semicolon and then the tv show so we'll go ahead and run this <clears throat> same thing we're just reading in a file we're opening it we're outputting each line or we're giving each line, creating a dictionary, creating an array, and then we're splitting it up and having it go through and sort it for us. So I'll go ahead and put this file one text file as our file name. I ran it. So as it would say, or as our question asked for and told us to write a new <clears throat> text file output keys text where it would write in what we wanted so I'll go ahead and go find that I had this pulled up already um, let me see if I can show you guys on screen actually no but I'll just open it really quick um, boop, 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 boop. So we can see File Explorer, and here we are at uh, my PyCharm Python projects. As we can see here, here's the output keys. So we have the keys and the titles because it wants us to do two different things. I'll go ahead and open both of them. So I'll open this. Oops. I'll open this, and I'll also open the other one. And I'll give you guys a view of what I'm looking at really quick. I hope you guys can see that. So over here, we just have the titles, which are Dallas, Gunsmoke, Law and Order, Murder, and she wrote The Simpsons, Will and Grace. And over here, we have like a dictionary type where it shows the number of episodes and the TV show followed by, and they are sorted from least to greatest. So looks like our code worked pretty good i'll switch back over to PyCharm. right here boom and we'll go ahead and proceed with our last question which is parsing food data 28.1 lab i believe in zybook so in this we are given this food text right here which shows if whatever is in front of it is available or not available. So we are supposed to read this and I'll put um, a list of what is available. So we'll go ahead and go into here. Let me put this here so the user knows a little bit about what's going on. So I'll put type in the text file name. Go ahead and run this really quick. So we'll type it in. We're wanting to use food.txt. And this should display for us the food that is available. And as we can see, food available is ham sandwiches with the, cl the classic ham sandwich, a Caesar salad, chunks of romaine lettuce dressed with, or it gives the item and the description. So Caesar salad, chunks of romaine, heart lettuce dressed with lemon juice, water, it's a beverage, 16 ounce water bottle, beef tacos, Mexican food, ground beef, and freshly made tortillas. 
as we can see over here I'll switch it over to show you guys that we have a ham sandwich that it was a sandwich and all it was the description was a classic ham sandwich which is available I'll read the availables and compare it to our list so another available was a Caesar salad another available was a water another available was beef tacos and that's exactly what we outputted here so it seems to me like our code is working it's working pretty good and with that said we have completed all three questions for computer science homework number seven so without anything else if you guys have any questions any doubts or just anything just make sure to leave a comment and i'll make sure to get to you as soon as possible you guys have a great day and goodbye